Joe, uh, students were very distressed apparently when the incident happened. Uh, they'd come to school early this morning to do sports training uh, and uh, on the Oval, uh, which is about 50 metres away from where the attack happened. Now screams alerted the students and teachers to, uh, to the attack. They rushed to see what happened uh, and found the 14-year-old victim with stab wounds. Now teachers administered uh, some first aid before paramedics arrived at the scene to take the girl away to hospital. Hospital. And, and she's doing OK now, apparently? Yes, that's right. Uh, police say her uh, injuries are not life-threatening. She's in a stable condition. She's been able to talk to police and assist with their investigations. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, a short time after the attack, uh, as police were searching the grounds, uh, a 16-year-old uh, male student uh, surrendered uh, to the Kabulcha police station and he's now being questioned by detectives. And Francine, you mentioned there were people at a sports field. Um, were there, were there like, hundreds of students there at that time of the morning or, or was it a bit early? Uh, it was a bit early. There were, uh, they didn't say what the actual number yeah. of students uh, who were there who arrived early, but it, it was a usual thing for students to be doing sports training uh, so early before classes began. There are about 900 students here at St Columban's College uh, and the principal, Anne Rebget, says that this is a very isolated incident and, and she wanted to stress that this school has no history of violence here. And Francine, did it actually happen kind of outside the, the school fence or, or inside the grounds? It was inside the grounds. It was in uh, uh, the vicinity of the toilet block, which uh, is about 50 metres away uh, from the Oval. Now police located a knife in the vicinity of the, of the scene. They wouldn't uh, uh, say what kind of knife it was, just that a knife was uh, used in the attack. They also wouldn't go into any details of what the relationship was between uh, uh, the 16-year-old boy and the 14-year-old girls. And, and, and as for motive, we still don't know that yet either. Okay, Francine Norton at Columbans College at Caboolture, just north of Brisbane. Thank you.